in the neighborhood, the boys caddied, and on Monday they could play on the golf course free, and they said if I had a golf club, I could go play with them. I was 11 years old, and I found some golf balls, and I sold them back to the golfers, and I got on the streetcar and went down into the city of Detroit to find a golf club for a dollar, and I went to Griswold's sporting goods store, and they had a big barrel of clubs, and I found one that was kind of short, and so I purchased it, brought it home, showed the boys in the neighborhood, and I said, I got my club, I can go on Monday and play with you, and they all laughed at me because it was a putter, and the putter's the last club you use to win or lose a tournament. So I started at the end and I'm trying to get to the beginning. Sweetie, what, what did you say? That's almost too short, don't you think? That's I think so. Yeah. Take a picture of them. When I went to college, there was no girls golf team. Dad went to the director of athletics to ask if he could get some expense money for his daughter to play in the National Intercollegiate Golf Tournament. His reply was, Mr. Smith, it's too bad your daughter is not a boy. How did you respond if somebody ever said to you, oh, you can't win that tournament or you can't do this? What was your attitude? Yes, I can. That was my attitude. It was. If you told me I couldn't do something, I'll show you I can do it. Huh. You know, it's the first time that I've ever been <laughs> up there with the big boys. It's just, it's amazing to think of what those 13 women did. They were really, um, truly pioneers. 